the Eagles were so dominant. They ran through the NFC. They lost to one team in the conference. That was Washington. And they quickly went through the playoffs and outscored opponents 69 to 14 before the playoff, before the Super Bowl. And yet I kind of want to see the 49ers get a chance to run it back. Mm -hmm. I feel like we were robbed of mm. what could have been an all-time showdown between great defense and amazing offensive line. And I feel like the Niners actually bring back a lot of their star players. The question, of course, is who's going to be playing quarterback? Yeah, get into it. Do we know if Brock Purdy going to be back in time to do this? Or do we know if Brock Purdy's even going to win outright? Free agent-wise, the 49ers, if we're doing an initial look here on February 16th of what they've got, Got to know what we're doing. Mike McClinchy, he's a big name. Of course, we want to know what's going on with Jimmy Ward, who every year I feel like is a free agent. Other than that, I'm looking at this list of guys. Brunskill's a good offensive lineman. Ebukam was great on the edge, but like, it's not like all of a sudden they got to sign Bosa or Kittle or one of the or McCaffrey. They're under contract. They're coming back. Debo will be back. He got his deal last year. Can I ask you a question? Is Trey Lance good? I think this is a great question. And we're going to explore it honestly over the next six months. I don't know. Does I Shanahan also, know? I also don't know if he's been given the opportunity to prove he is good. In yeah. week one, he beat he loses to the, the Bears. Bears. Week two, they have him running out there like he's all of a sudden Adrian Peterson and he break, yeah. he hurts his ankle and he's done. Was like it week two. It was week two. Oh my god. So before we move on to Jason, I would say that the 49ers have this like feeling of like unfinished business. And Brock Purdy got hurt, and then Joshua Johnson was in the quarterback spot, and that wasn't even a fair deal because he had just been thrown yeah. in. And I, I feel like the Niners feel like they still belonged in the Super Bowl, and you heard that all Super Bowl week when all you week. heard things from everyone, from Brandon Ayuk doing a, an interview over Zoom to the guys on Radio Row, including McCaffrey, who was like, I, we had a third-string guy. Kittle was talking about it openly. Niners are out for blood, and I feel like they want to right that wrong. I just don't know who's that quarterback starting week mm -hmm. one. Yeah, and I think Trey Lance was such a high draft pick that if you're the 49ers, you have to believe that he's still but good. But at this point, after year three, like but when you go into year three, do you still say, like, or do you say, hey, we win the NFC Championship without him. Like, does he really get deserve that, that mm -hmm. spot to lose? I mean, but at this point now, Brock Purdy goes down with an injury. Now, Brock Purdy finishes the season. Then we had he, something. That's one thing. But yeah. now him going down with an injury. Fine by training camp. Who else they got? Yeah, yeah it'll be maybe. fine. But let, let's just see. Yeah. I, I'm excited to see what you draft a guy that high. I don't think you're just ready to move on just because your seventh round draft pick hit. But who knows? Um, the team that the 49ers went against earlier in the playoffs was the Dallas Cowboys, and I'm leaning into them. How about them boys? Dak Prescott, he only threw all those interceptions. It was only because of the thumb injury. That was the only oh, yeah. reason he threw all of those interceptions. Next year is going to be totally okay. different. He's going to be slinging the rock around. They got Kellen Moore out of there. Mike McCarthy's taking over the play calling. They're going to bring Tony Pollard back. Ezekiel Elliott, they're going to find a common place when it comes to the contract. Gallup is another year removed off of his ACL. Got to shore some things up on the on the offensive line, the defensive side, possibly bring Dalton Schultz back. But outside of all of that, and we saw them go against the Eagles in that late in the season, able to win, obviously no Jalen Hurts. But outside of all of that, they're just missing a piece. And that piece, Jerry Jones talked about it throughout the end of the season. All seasons here, give me Odell Beckham oh, Jr. The sweepstakes. Put the star on the side of his helmet. We talked about it. I mean, is there a better fit for this guy, him and Jerry Jones? The amount of jerseys that he can sell with Odell Beckham Jr. in the locker room, on the football field. He is the missing piece. Bring him in there at the receiver position. Opposite already C.D. Lamb as the number one guy. Cowboys to the Super Bowl. Two for two. Two days in a row for you. <laughs> if Odell's Follow that, running Kyle. around in a Cowboys helmet in the Super Bowl, I don't know if society's going to be able to take it. We actually have to start stockpiling canned goods and shotgun shells. Like just, It's going to be martial law. All right, so this is interesting because I think Aaron Rodgers, one way or another, is going to lead the NFC. Mm. I do. Whether he retires or... I just think... So, if that happens, after Jalen Hurts, who's the best quarterback in the NFC? Oof. Is it Dak? Is healthy, it Healthy Stafford? Is it Healthy Stafford? Is it Kirk Cousins? Mm. Is it Derek Carr who enters the NFC? Mm. Is it possible it's Jared Goff? Jared Goff played great wow. the last two months of the season. I'm going with Detroit. Yeah! I'm going with Detroit because a couple reasons. Money to spend. Yeah. Great momentum. Good quarterback. Coach who had it cooking. Guys, they have the six pick. They have the 18 pick. They were the hottest team in football. 
They bashed the Packers in the last week in Lambeau. It was the only thing that kept them out of the playoffs was just time. They ran out of time and they didn't start the season strong enough. They wanted to play a game next week. Let's play week one right now and we will beat anybody in the league. Money to spend, picks to spend, talent, quarterback, coach. I'm not afraid of the NFC North right now. I really am not. I like the Lions. It'd be really cool. That's my take. I like it. All like of these that. conversations, I had a team, but I'm going to deflect. Um, I, it's making me think about the future that we have for the next couple of months together. I think we need to, by the end of tomorrow, pick a team that's going to have the most electric offseason because okay. it sounds like you would maybe put the Lions up for that. I also think I want to come up with a question that will lead the league in yet to be answered by August, which it sounds like is Trey Lance a good quarterback. A that, that would be on the board. And so one. by the end of tomorrow, we should come up with a few options of most electric offseason, mm -hmm. maybe most boring <laughs> offseason, sure. uh, question that will definitely be answered, and then question that will not be answered by August, but we're going to still have to talk mm -hmm. about it. Because I want to throw the Bears hat in the ring for questions in the offseason with what Fields is saying, with having mm -hmm. the number one pick, with the yeah. stadium, with all kinds of stuff. Okay.